Now here's an example of a, uh, a little painting which was done on 140 pound cold press and after the painting was completed, this was a demo study in a class, uh, it is quite wrinkled as you can see from the side here. Well, that's for me that's unsuitable and I don't want to send it to the framer that way. It could give you um, some funny shadows on the outside once it's mounted and the framers don't like it too much. But I like them to be flat again. So what do I do to restretch this flat? I like to use the same technique I use on the bigger pieces of watercolor when I stretch them. And that is I'll just turn it over like this and then I will take my uh, a, a bigger brush say a hockey brush like this but that may be too big for this area or too big to control so in some cases I'll just use a regular old aquarelle brush or a one inch brush and I'll just soak that down all the way around I'll get the middle wet first so I go back and forth back and forth and then I'll get it wet clear out to the side here. Now since this is 140 pound paper it's not going to need as much water as the 300 pound sheet did. But we'll take this and we'll just go back and forth across it and then once it's completely wet corner to corner and edge to edge I'm holding it in one place. The reason for that I don't want the water to run back underneath and possibly affect the paper in any way so I'm just leaving it just flush right here and holding it in place as I continue to push this water around and, and kind of force it into the paper. I want it to get right down into the grain or the fabric of this paper. So I go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then just in case there is a little bit of water that's on the surface of this, um, I'll turn my board over, lay this back down again and give it a few minutes for that to soak in and it'll become very very limp just like a wet rag will become but, uh, as that begins to settle in and get flatter and flatter then I'll just take the stapler make sure this side is flat come around on this side and just stretch it out as I go continue to come around kind of like stretching a canvas for oil painting in some respects but the watercolor paper will shrink as it dries and it will be as tight as a drum as flat as anything Drum. So I'm going to grab my palette knife again, which I'm using for a staple remover, and pop these staples out. And let's see if we haven't been able to flatten that quite a bit by this process. The staples pop out pretty easily, especially from this board which I'm using, which is called Incredible Art Board. It's stiff and kind of has a, a water repellent surface, but it does not warp as some of the other boards do. So and I'll just remove these staples now and let's see what we've got. Okay, and here's our painting that was warped and buckled, and now we'll kind of look at it on an angle. And look how straight that is. It's just nice and flat and it's able to go to the framer that way. So that's what I like to do with all of my paintings uh, at the conclusion is turn them over, wet the surface, staple them down, let them dry overnight and then we have a nice flat painting that we can uh, send to the framer and it looks pretty good.